The coronavirus hasn't only put a stop to all games and practices, it's also halted all recruiting for the time being. Brett Behrens takes a deeper dive at what it means for the recruiting trail. Gavin Sullivan still hasn't opened the jerseys for his mid-pro academy teams, and it doesn't look like they'll be coming out of the box anytime soon. The co-founder, director, and coach of the AAU development program has a lot more questions than answers about the future right now. You know, we're all kind of in a sit-and-wait basis. This is usually one of Sullivan's busiest times of the year, leading up to the April and May evaluation periods. The coronavirus pandemic has canceled the April events. May is still up in the air, meaning next level high school basketball players that need to be seen by college coaches to earn a scholarship will not get that opportunity next month. Makes it harder for everybody, harder for uh, college coaches. They get less eyes. It's going to come down to really trusting relationships, trusting what people are saying. You know, everybody tries to sell their kids at some, some level, um, but it's, it's those connections that you can rely on who's, who's not, you know, over-exaggerating where a kid's level's at. The class of 2021 athletes are the most at risk of losing those valuable circuit games. The spring and summer before their senior seasons are some of the most important times in recruiting. And the longer this lasts, the harder it is going to be for them. And, and I think that's, that's a scary part for those guys right now. Illinois head coach Brad Underwood and his staff are in a similar spot as they try to fill their recruiting boards. NCAA rules restrict them from any on or off campus visits right now, meaning they can only call, text, or send mail until this pandemic clears. I think it's to be determined yet if you can convince a kid to come by phone call. But I think, again, it's a very fluid situation that we've had a lot of 21 kids in unofficially, uh, some officially. That's been a very big positive is they got to see State Farm Center, they got to see some games. 